We are going to be rounding to the nearest hundred today. We've been rounding to the nearest 10, so let's try to the nearest hundred. So our first question says round 562 to the nearest hundred. Remember, we want to start by rewriting our number. And we're going to box in the correct place value. Here it's asking us for the nearest hundred. So out of these three digits, the five is in the hundreds place. And remember, we can draw our arrow next door to help us out. So if we're rounding to the nearest hundred, let's count by hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. So this number says 562, which tells me that I need to stay in the 500s. So 500 is going to be my first hundred. And the 100 that comes after 500, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, would be 600. Now finding our benchmark in the middle. When I think of 100, I need to think of what half of 100 is. And half of 100 would be 50. I like to think of it as 100 cents in a dollar, and half of a dollar is 50 cents. So it has to end with a 50, but I'm already in the 500s. So I need to make sure I keep that 500 in the hundreds place. So we have 500 as our first benchmark, 550 as our second benchmark, and 600 as our last benchmark. Remember when we round to the nearest 100, it's either 500 or 600. So we're comparing 562 to 550. The five is pointing next door to a six, and here, if I box in that five, I'm pointing next door to a five. So would 562 come before 550 or after? It would come after because six tens is more than five tens. So 562. Remember, we have to draw our hop to 500 and to 600. We're looking for the smaller hop, and here the smaller hop is to 600. So 562 rounded to the nearest 100 is 600. Let's do another one. Round 874 to the nearest 100. All right, let's rewrite 874 and I have to round to the nearest hundred. So out of these three digits, ones place, tens place, hundreds place. The eight is pointing next door to the seven to help it out. So I have to think of my hundreds. This says 800. So remember that's going to be my first hundred. What hundred comes after 800 would be 900. All right, and our middle benchmark, halfway between 800 and 900, remember there are 100 numbers in between 800 and 900, and half of that would be 50. But it doesn't go 800, 50, 900, it would go 800, 850, 900. Okay, so we have 874 compared to 850. Eight looking next door at the seven, eight looking next door at the five. Does it come before or after? It will come after. 800, 74. Let's draw those hops. Ooh, all the way back to 800. All right, remember we want the smaller hop, and the smaller hop here goes to 900. So 874 rounded to the nearest 100 is 900. 
Remember, when we're rounding, we're estimating. So 874 is about 900. Let's do another one. Round 3,286 to the nearest 100. I will rewrite our number. And we're rounding it again to the nearest 100. So I'm looking for which of these digits is in the hundreds place. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place. We can draw that arrow next door to help it out. So remember, we have a 3,000 that comes even before our hundreds place. And almost every time, that 3,000 will stay the same because we're still going to remain in that 3,000. So let's put 3,000 everywhere we go. Now I have 286. Remember I say 200. So that would be our first 100. And our second 100 after 200 comes 300. All right, time for our middle. Remember, there are 100 numbers between 3,200 and 3,300. And that means that half of it would be 50. But it would not just say 50 because we are still in that 200 range. So it would be 3,250. All right, our number is 3,286, and we're rounding it to the nearest 100. 2 is looking next door at the 8. Here, that 2 would look next door to the 5. So you have to think, does 8 tens come before 5 tens or after 5 tens? It will come after 3,200. 86. And we can draw those hops to 3,300 and a hop to 3,200. Remember, we're looking for the smallest hop. So 3,286 is closest to 3,300. So 3,286 is about 3,300. Let's do one more. Round 8,079 to the nearest 100. 8,079. All right, we're boxing in our hundreds place. So here we have a zero in our hundreds place. And we're looking next door at a seven. All right, remember, almost every time, everything that comes before the place value that we're looking at stays the same. So let's draw that 8,000 everywhere we go. We're not leaving that 8,000. And this time I have zero hundreds. So I'm going to write zero hundreds. And that number says 8,000. And after 8,000, I've got zero hundreds, would come 100. So our smaller option is 8,000, and our rounding up would be 8,100. Ooh, in the middle, remember, half of 100 is 50. But I'm in zero hundreds, so don't forget to put that zero hundreds. So we have 8,050 in the middle. All right, we're looking at our hundreds place and we're looking next door at that seven here. I've got that zero and I'm looking next door to a five. Let's think, does 8,079 come before 8,050 or after 8,050? It will come after 8,000. 79 comes after. So let's draw those hops. Shoop. 
all the way back. And we're looking for the smaller hop. So 8,079 is about 8,100. We had lots of rounding ups. It will not always round up, of course. But remember, when we are rounding, we are estimating to the closest benchmark number to help us make our best guess. So remember, when we guess and we estimate and we round, we're saying about. We have about 8,100. 